Our final topic for the balance sheet for now is going to be this owning equity section, but we've already done it. So why are we doing it again? Well, let's have a look what we do know. We know that we've got a balance sheet. We know that we prepare a classified balance sheet. So current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities. What we're saying is this owner's equity section is actually a little bit um, like it's not detailed enough. We need more information. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually expand this a little bit. Okay, we'll expand it more to, as the year goes on, but we're just going to expand it a little bit for now. So this is not everything. This is just what we need to know at the moment. So I guess we, what we want to do is say, well, what makes owner's equity go up or down? Okay, so because they are separate entities, the business and the owner can engage in transactions with each other. We've done this. We said, yeah, we don't see the owner does not equal the business. They are separate entities. Nice borders here to pr uh, protect or indicate that each of these entities is separate. But that does mean they can transact with each other. So the owner can give the business money or a car or property or any type of asset. And we call that a capital contribution. And likewise, the business can give the owner cars or property or money or any other type of asset that is called drawings. So what we can do is we can just say, well, for now, there's going to be some other ones as well, but we'll say for now, what makes owner's equity go up and down? Well, on the one hand, capital contributions make it go up. And on the other hand, drawings make it go down. So what we really should do is we should expand our owner's equity section to reflect this. So let's have a look here. So let's, I'm just going to make some numbers up here for a business. So you'd be provided with these in a case study, but let's have a look. The owner's equity section needs to be expanded. We're going to start with the capital at the start of the period. So like we might be doing a, a balance sheet after a year's time. What was capital a year ago? Then what we're going to do, and the order really doesn't matter, but I always do the pluses first. I'm going to go plus how much, how many capital contributions did I make? And let's just say it was 50,000. So I'm going to go capital at the start of the period plus capital contributions of 50,000. Now, some people like to sort of do a total now. So add those together and write a total. I just think it's one extra thing to do. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my minuses now. I'm going to say capital at the start plus contributions, less drawings. And in the balance sheet, not a big deal, but generally for negative numbers, we do brackets. If you do a dash, it doesn't matter. But what we want to do is tell the story of owner's equity here. And the story is this. It was $100,000 a year ago. We gave the business $50,000, but we took out $40,000 of drawings as the owners. And what we do is in this second column, we now do the final total. So 100,000 plus 50,000 minus 40,000 is 110,000. And what we do is we say that's kind of the capital at the end. Okay. And this will um, sort of tell a story. Capital went up this period. Why? because we gave the business capital contributions more than the drawings that we took out. The main thing for you to remember now is let's just keep it simple. We're actually going to have to put in net profits and revenues and stuff like that. Where do they go within owner's equity? Well, we're going to, we're going to park that for now and come back to it much later. But for now, can you just remember owner's equity section now has capital at the start plus capital contributions, less drawings, and then we write the final total in the second column here.